welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. My name is Alex and I don't know what this vlog is going to be like. It's probably going to be a hodgepodge of stuff, but I thought I would just show y'all what I got from Zara. Um, I'm not going to try it on because I will be taking Instagram pictures in it. So follow me on Instagram at Alex Hytrate if you're not already. And... I'm definitely going to be taking pictures in this. This is the first thing I got. They're both from Zara. I got two like meshy looking tops, but they just, my torso is too long for them. So I had to return them. But the first thing I got is this like cream, gorgeous denim maxi skirt. I got in a size small. I wanted to get a medium, but they didn't have any. So, um, and I can put the number if you want, but... I think you could probably easily find it online. Next thing I got were these pair of denim, these jeans. And I love Zara because all their jeans are so freaking long. And I size up to a six. I'm like, I don't know, I kind of fluctuate with Zara between like a four, six, I don't know. I have some that are even eights so I can like wear them low rise. But these are just like perfect. They look a lot more expensive than they are. But these ones were 59 and those ones are a not ra they're just the loose fit in distressed blue i kind of like i think they changed their tag so it's like easier to tell what jeans are which and then these are the other pair i got they are i ripped the little tag off them but i believe they're also the loose fit got these in a size six as well and they're just a lighter wash really stinking long and perfect for me so i'm really excited to style these and they're probably going to be my new go-to jeans but yeah let's just get on with the rest of the video <laughs> this week's vlog i thought something interesting that i could do was show y'all um how i do my hair post shower so i just got out of the shower like 20 minutes ago kind of was just watching youtube and trying to like clean this brush it's literally disgusting but like i don't know why it gets like it almost looks like dust in it but everyone always tells me it's just like hair, like stuff that's in your hair, like build up or like, I don't know. I mean, it could literally be dust like from my hair into my, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm just going to show you how I style my hair. I'm not really going to style it, but I'm just going to do it um, like I normally would. First things I go in with are Moroccan oil. Um, I had like a travel size Moroccan oil and I had this extra pump from like an old hair product so I just put the oil in here because it's just nice to have a pump so I just take one full pump of that and I only do it in the middle to ends and then just go like this and kind of shimmy it through I think it really helps like hydrate my hair and I have really long hair as you can tell it is all mine no extensions or anything like that and then for a heat protectant I've seen this one um I bought it from my hairstylist but um I saw it on TikTok when they take like they spray it on like receipt paper and then they use like a straightener and like straighten the receipt paper and you see um like it'll turn black because of the like carbon or whatever on the receipt paper i don't know you could look it up look up like hair protectant test on tiktok or like something and it'll show you but i also i used to have very light amount of this I don't want to get too crazy um 
can I kind of like get that in there before I go in and I also use this comb that I got off Amazon and I use it to get like a really straight part as you can see that one it'll go over once it's over but yeah now I'll show you what I do to blow out my hair okay so this is the Dyson I have it is the complete styler I believe it's called um it's the newest one so I know there was like the first generation air wrap this is the second generation air wrap and I just keep all my little heads in this Oliver Thomas cosmetic bag and first thing I'm gonna go in with I'm just gonna set this one this is what this attachment looks like um I don't know why some of the things are like curved like that but anyway and that's honestly the only thing I need for post shower. I don't, I'm not gonna actually style it because I'm going right to bed and just even any leftover like moisture is gonna, um, like it's gonna kink my hair and do something. Like I'll have to touch it up in the morning, I'm sure. So, and someone told me it's really important to not brush your hair until it's dry because your hair is like at its most like fragile state when it's wet and like ripping it is like really bad for your hair which sounds self-explanatory but just thought I would let you know but yeah now I'm just gonna explain it now before I do it and then I'll just do like I'll just speed up the clip but I'm just gonna blow dry my hair on the highest settings on both sides like the hot and the I don't know like the speed just with this like a hose and then um, I'll show you what I do next okay now that I've gotten it to this state where I can kind of easily finger my hands through it and all that it's still a little bit wet i'd say like 80 90 percent maybe so i'm gonna add this brush attachment and kind of just get, go over it and smooth it i think that's like what this attachment is for it's got a little hair there so we're just gonna toss that in the trash can here but yeah, I'm going to do this and I'll show you the final result. Okay, keep in mind, this tool is amazing and I'm not saying it's not, but my natural hair is very very straight so you i'm not gonna tell everyone that they're gonna get this um like end result doing that exact same thing i'm just showing you what i did but i used the gosh oh the redken like lengthening shampoo and conditioner and that's what i have in here and then like i said this is just the redken one United spray and Moroccan oil and that's literally it. Um, if you're looking for a good dry shampoo for dark hair, my hair's not quite black, but it's like one step off, but I use this um, dark hair dry shampoo from Batiste. I've used this for years. Um, I also like the Living Proof one a lot. That's probably a second frame. This is just like a lot more price friendly, so highly recommend it. Okay, um, another haul. I literally can't stop buying stuff, but I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna check if this is still available online under the sale. I think the sale, it honestly might not have been that much, but this is a really expensive curling iron, so to get like 50 bucks off is like kind of insane I feel like and 
You've definitely probably heard of this brand of curling iron. It's the Bioionic. Of course, the air conditioning comes on right now. Um, this is what it looks like. I got the 1.25 barrel, and I think I got it for around 100 with the discount. So if that tells you anything, it definitely was a splurge for a curling iron. But I think I used Welcome 20 and I got another 20% off. I'm all about a code. Um, wow, it's really beautiful though. And it's like made for long hair, clearly. Clearly my hair is pretty long. So I think this is gonna be perfect and I'm so excited to use it. I'm trying to look at the technology in it. Um, deeper and I don't understand how it could be for hydration, but you know what, that's its claim, so.